Hi, today I'm going to show you how to configure your IAR Embedded Workbench to program Tiva C Launchpad Development Board. So to start, we open the IAR. Now, my IAR Embedded Workbench is the newest version there is, but this procedure would still apply to older versions. So once that's up, we create a new project by selecting the project menu and create a project. We choose the C project template and press OK. Now you will be prompted to save your project file. So whenever you're doing a new project, I suggest that you <coughs> place them in a new folder, one folder per project. That would be nice for easy management and stuff. So let me call this project as Yeah, I'm going to call this sample project. Save. Once that's done, the IAR will generate your first C code under your project. So let me just close this one. Okay. Now this main file is not yet configured for your Tiva C Launchpad. And so we need to configure a project. To do that, you can select this project, right click and select options, or go to the projects menu and select options. Or if you prefer to use the shortcut keys, then just press Alt F7. Then this dialog box will show up. Now in the general options category, you need to select the device that we're going to program. In this case, we're going to select Texas Instruments TM4C 123GH6PM. This is the Tiva C launchpad that we're going to program. Once that's done, we go to the compiler category, then click on the preprocessor tab. And this is where you input all the directories or folders that we are going to use during the development of this project. So let's just suppose that I'm going to use my current project folder or directory. So what I just typed there is the <clears throat> macro for the project folder or the current project folder we also include the folder where IR stores um, all the Texas instrument devices header files okay to do that we type toolkit underscore dear um, that's the directory for the IR workbench then backslash include backslash Texas instruments so if you want to see where this folder is you can you can click this button here okay select the <coughs> string then open it by pressing this button you will be immediately directed to that directory and you can double check that by pressing up twice, you are inside the toolkit directory or the directory or folder for the IAR embedded workbench. Okay. But before we proceed, we need to also include the folder um, where IAR stores um, the CMC's um, files. Um, this CMC is a standard developed by ARM to help programmers um, program ARM based microcontrollers easier. So let me just type in this directory. Again, you can verify if that is a correct string 
because you will be led into the same folder through this prompt. Okay. Now just to make sure that this really works, let me show you what happens if you misspelled or there is no existing folder um, of the one that you have just typed in. <coughs> So if I click this button again, select this string and open it, you will be directed by default to the documents folder. That's because the folder that you've just typed in does not exist or is misspelled. So make sure you don't misspell the directories that you're going to include for a project. Once that's done, you move on to the debugger category. And here we select the driver or yeah, the driver for our debugger. So for TVC Launchpad, the default debugger is TI Stellaris. So we select that. Then we move on to the download tab and tick on the verify download. Okay. So one more step before we finish this configuration is to go to the TI Stellaris debugger um, settings and select SWD or the serial wire debugger interface for our programming. Then we click OK. So our project is now configured to be programmed for Tiva C Launchpad. And to check if it is so, we can include now the header file for TVC Launchpad. Okay. So if I compile this code right now, it should not return any errors. Oh, if it is the first time that you're going to compile your work, you will be prompted to save your workspace. So let me just save it. A sample workspace. Okay. As you can see, there are no errors, and therefore we can now begin to develop our code. So that's it for now in this tutorial. Next, we're going. Oh, uh, I'm going to show you how to program Tiva C Launchpad, uh, particularly how to use the GPIO or the General Purpose Input Output pins of the board. So, see you next time.